tempo con Barini del Castiglio, cos'è il Sarolo? Cos'è la mia parola? Cos'è la mia parola? Pure coincidence. So at the, at the end of the day, uh, we're just artists. We just, uh, you know, uh, we do what we do, and whatever we're given, give it our best. You know, and I respect for uh, Dennis as well. He's a contemporary, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure it's going to be fun for both of us. Congratulations, Papa B and Brian. Thank you, Archie. Please pass the mic to Sir Robert. You can hear now. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kyono. Um, Kyono, um, so at this point, what are your fears in life and how do you cover your fears? Uh, like what I did in Ibarra, you know, it's stepping out of my comfort zone, doing a musical play for the first time, doing a horror film for the first time. I always want to conquer my fear and conquer your fear by facing it head on. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is uh, going to be different. I know it's going to be really hard, but uh, it's what we live for. You know, uh, the challenges that we face every day, and what we fear the most is what is what defines us. So I guess you always want to be able to know and find out for yourself, and you won't know it unless you face it. So. Sa pop sa mundo, sa dos. Hindi pa ako nakakakita ng mundo eh. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a very religious person myself. Uh, but I, I love watching horror films. This is for natural. And based on the research, of course, uh, these are all just uh, uh, handed down through different generations. But I just imagine the cinema. And I can't wait to see it happen, you know, what we should. But, uh, uh, my personal view on it, I guess, uh, unless I'm not a kid, I don't know. I I pray and uh, I, I, I haven't experienced anything. I, I don't want to say I, I welcome it or I'm open. I don't know what I'm talking about. 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 I won't go that far. I mean, you know, uh, I just have respect for the cinema and I have high respect for my craft. So I'm just going to delve into it and dig deep and see, you know, where it can take us. But are you preparing for any rituals before you start the movie? Uh, sage. I'm sorry. 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 Okay, I'm going to move on after. <laughs> and for my last guy, hey, John and Derek, I'm sure, why is there a need na ipalabas itong uh, buhay ng Mariaris na? Uh, Sino? Well, for one thing, um, since no, during pandemic, di ba, kung napansin naman natin, alos lahat ng um, audiences natin po kung takin sa streaming. And nakita natin na nagdito ang yung mga tao, nagkakanap na rin ng mga ganitong klase ng mga yun. For example, yung mga sinang so probably number one sa ating camera. And then, pati ang mga documentary for serial killers. So, nung time na yun, um, since nandun din dyan yung may mga pedila, so sabi niya ng ECS na hindi ito, parang it's about time para ilabas ang kalyan. Kasi, um, it's a serial killer story, true to life story. So, merong hunger ng audience ngayon for type of material na yun ito. So, um, sa mga ano naman, uh, sumakto naman sa panahon, kumbaga sa means na kaya ito, itumin natin yung Story. Yeah. 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 Yeah ay uh, maging worth it sa mga Pinoy na talagang uh, alam mo to spend money and to go to the cinemas. And uh, I hope that this movie will also inspire other producers to really produce a quality film that, you know, it's worth it. Kasi magkano nga, magkano pelikula ngayon, di ba? Magkano sigma na So, 
I know nothing is going to change in my house. That's why talagang, uh, I was interested because of the challenge. Yeah, the challenge ng pelikula na ito. Nung nabasa ko yung script, kahit ako, tumataas yung balahibo. And then, of course, talagang from the beginning, um, you wanted to challenge Yolo. Diba? Because I think he, he could actually show us something uh, that we've never seen before. Diba? And I think people are also excited to see that. That's why like, Malayai is uh, getting traction since we released it in April. So, really, man, din siya. So, nagkita namin yung traction. So, right now, we have a really huge responsibility to, uh, to keep up on the expectation of our Thank you. Thank you, Sir Robert. Thank you, Sir Brian. Malayari will be the dark side of Yolo Pascual as an actor. Next, we have Gas Cabales. Hello, po. Ang may... Dere po. Pakiklaring pa yun po. Ano ba yung three periods na nakikita sa mga? So, yung tatlong period is 1800s, 1801. And then, the second one is 1948. During World War II, or post-World War II. And then, the last one is 2023, the present one. Sa mga na-research niyo po, anong po yung pinaka-shocking na na-discover na nila? And paano niyo po siya interpret since for the existing siya na may interest niyo? Okay, ah, malaking factor yun ano, yun sa model niya. Yung pumatakay siya para sa model niya. Kung ano man yung ano, siyempre kayo may mag-detest, hindi namin masabi kasi ako ngayon na sisinigan. Pero yung may factor pumatakay siya at yung organs ay inaalan niya sa mom niya. Para, kasi sa story ako sa mga yari nila na kinukulang daw yung mother, so kailangan yung pumatay para magawa yung mother. So yun yung part na for me nung pinagtahan namin yung actual na area kung sa dati na matayin yung simbahan na yun. Kasi nakuha yung mga 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 friends. Siyempre, hindi pa na nakakilaman na parang yung 57 yung tao na matay dito sa lugar na yun. Saan daw po? Magalang pang anga. Sa old town, magalang pang anga. Pero mas kilala na siya ngayon yung konsepsyon. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Ryan Santos. Alright, sorry, Ryan Santos. Hello po. My first question is for the record. You've done a suspense trailer na ito before. For this one, ano yung parang maliging atake mo dito sa pagiging suspense trailer or more of the film? As compared to your previous offerings. Ako naman kasi yung sa director is always in the movie na kahit ito ang fan mo lang ako na kahit ito ba na ano yun hindi mo umuwi na takot ka yun hindi mo kung alam niya na alas akta din pa ako para mapatawad yung pelikula alam niya for this, iba kasi siya ang atake I mean, ibang horror siya kasi pag itatawid mo ng tatong tanya tatong period, tatong panahon and then at the same time unique ang maliyari kasi ang daming It's a cultural and then controversial material. Because controversial is because it's a little bit of a case about it, it's a killer. And then at the same time, it's a lot of people who are 57 years old. If you imagine that during the pandemic, the one person is 5,000 in the population, so it's possible that the people who are 57 years old are not going to die. So, in terms of the horror, Well, it's something that people are afraid of. It could be something supernatural, psychological. I mean, there are a lot of ingredients of horror that we can use. It's not a historical shock, supernatural shock. It could be supernatural or it could be a cultural shock. It could be a psychological shock. It could be a parent. Because it's not just what we're talking about. It could be a parent. It could be a parent. Is it like the documentary style? Is it like fiction? Definitely, this is going to be a question. Medyo ilalayo natin ang parmen. Kasi ayaw kong itigit siya sa style ng documentary. Kasi sad to say, we don't have the records para balita kung ano ka talaga yung mga nangyari ng parmen. What we do know is this is the basic facts. 57 na tao na yung nangyari. And then, for an old town. And then, before pa nang gubusan, hindi pa pinapanganak siya. Kasi this is a 17-48 siya pinapanganak. So, so, ang daming ibutas eh. So, if you fictionalize talaga natin yung mangyayari. But what we're going to keep is, ano yung story? Back to siya ka matalang. Ano yung nag-isori? 
Pati niya ginagawa niya. Ano yung pangatong ang makulong mo niya pag At bakit siya tumawin ng tatlong pangalan? Kaya dyan ka na kayo ni Sir Um, as an actor or as an artist, how do you usually prepare for a role? Lalo na kayo na meron kang i-involve na 